Hi Sync Verse. Here we are to introduce something interesting that the Apache Sync team has recently added on top of upcoming release 2.0. As you know, Syncop is exposing a completely RESTful interface since its early releases provided complete access to all of its features. With 2.0, you are going to be able to enjoy a fully compliant ChuxRS 2.0 services now featuring also proper documentation. First of all, each deployment contains complete descriptive REST reference. You can see here all REST resources and methods alongside with their description, parameters and reference to schema so that you are able to see which attributes and which types are needed for the service. But we moved forward and integrated the famous Swagger UI, which is now available within Syncop Core. This instance of Swagger UI is directly embedded in your Syncop installation, so you can see how here are listed all resources once more, with all methods available, with HTTP verb, endpoint, description, and once more, parameters. Besides providing more eye candy, Swagger also allows live interaction with services. Let's see an example. Here we have schemas. So let's try to see what happens when we try to send a request here. We have a handful combo box which allows to change between the type of schemas that are defined in Syncope. So, if I'm going to ask for plain, the list of plain schemas, I will see here the URL statement generated, the request URL, the response body with all of the JSON payload and response code and headers, which is extremely useful. Let's focus on derived schema now. As you can see, we have no derived schema. Let's try to define a new derived schema. We're going to use the POST resource for this. We need to set the type here and provide a JSON payload for this service. Let's try it out. Again, the URL statement is generated, request URL, response code which is fine 201 for creating new objects and response headers. So now I would expect to find the schema just created in a list. And here it is. We have a singleton array with the derived schema just defined. Naturally, we can also access this definition here when setting derived schema and new derived schema are description. Here we go, response body and all the details just shown. I can also remove the schema by empowering the delete endpoint two or four. Everything went out fine. So now I'm expecting the list of derived schema to be again an empty array. This is of course a very simple example of what you can get out of Swagger UI instead of Syncope. Have fun with Syncope and Swagger UI.